Hey guys, it's Mr. EJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to be demoing OSX Mountain Lion. Uh, so this is the GM build, and uh, finally, since the GM is out, I can actually go ahead and preview stuff for you. Uh, so I can go ahead and post all these good videos. Um, right now, it's just a general overview, and what I've noticed from uh, the first probably half an hour with OSX Mountain Lion GM build. So this is my uh, MacBook Air. This is actually the 2011, so this is the Sandy Bridge, not an Ivy Bridge. So this actually has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5, and then 120 gigabyte SSD. Uh, so this is running 10.8, and this is the GM build. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you a few things, but overall I've noticed that uh, it's actually very easy to use. It's very snappy. It even uh, feels more smooth than uh, my MacBook Pro uh, Retina at times. So, uh, so far I've noticed that it's really, really easy to use. Um, we're just going to open up a few of the new applications. I'm not going to try to make this uh, video too long, uh, but it is really nice uh, to have that nice uh, snappy feel. So you are able to use all the new features with uh, Lion. Uh, so for example, uh, when you open up text edit like this, you can see that you have some iCloud. So you can go ahead and store anything you want in the cloud. So if I go ahead and make a new document, I can go ahead and pull this up on my iPad or another Mac. That's, of course, on Mountain Lion. So I can go ahead and say hi. Go ahead and go ahead and save it right to iCloud. So iCloud is completely built in. I know that iCloud was built into uh, Lion, but this is actually a extension up beyond that so we're going to go ahead and t uh, save that as high and then the other thing is we are now have dictation so um, I actually have the double tap for the function key um, but you can go ahead and type that in and I've also noticed that dictation is much faster and much more accurate so you can have you can see that that's a big long thing I was talking kind of more uh, for the video purposes but it, it did pretty well on that and it was very very snappy that's what I've noticed with the new GM build that is very 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 snappy so I do definitely like that and you can see that we also have these new applications like reminders notes and they'll just go ahead and sync right over to whatever you have on your uh, Mac so they will go ahead and sync right over to basically whatever computer uh, iPhone iPad Whatever iOS or Mac device that you have, I'll go ahead and sync over there via iCloud. So it's very nice to be able to have that nice syncing feature with uh, Mac OS X. So you also do have Messages, a uh, Messages app. Uh, we've already seen this, and this is uh, actually a currently uh, open beta. So this is also an open beta uh, for a uh, Lion, but it's nice to see that this is built in as well. Uh, so you won't have to download that el elsewhere. In Mountain Lion, there is also Notification Center. You can access that by uh, some cool little uh, gestures. But you can see that we actually do have some uh, notifications right here. Uh, we can just close out of those by just clicking here. And then you can see that we can click the tweet. So you can just do test, send. And then you can also go right to Facebook. So I can do uh, testing. And that'll go right to Facebook. You can tell basically who you want it to send to. I'm just sending it to everyone. And so everyone sees uh, testing. And uh, yeah, so notification is really uh, cool. So uh, you can also get that for Mac updates also appear there. Basically a lot of things. So we see that we just got a reply over here. So it's actually very nice. It goes right over to the Twitter website. I think in the future that it will actually be implemented right into the native Twitter app, just kind of like it is on the iPhone. So you can see right here we have the Twitter app. And just to confirm, uh, we do have that that test was posted. PowerNap allows you to go ahead and close your uh, Mac and it'll download all the updates. So that's photo stream, calendar, reminders. I think you have to be plugged in for this. Um, I haven't actually really tested it out. Usually iCloud stuff appears right away, so I never have to really worry about that. But it does uh, sync when your Mac is closed. Uh, you can also share. So uh, looking at this, this is the new Safari. You can go ahead and share to your messages, Twitter, Facebook, email, all that good stuff. And of course, we already talked about Facebook, so you can go ahead and do that. It syncs right into contacts, and it also has your notifications for Facebook. So it's really, really cool. And you can go ahead and stream AirPlay right to an HD TV, and that's up to 1080p. So that's really cool, and you have to use an Apple TV for that. We also do have Game Center, which I'm not really uh, too excited for. Game Center, in my eyes, hasn't really done as well as uh, Apple has hoped. Uh, I, I hope to, to see uh, more in the future, um, but really it hasn't really bridged that much. And uh, yeah, so no, Game Center is on here. Maybe we'll see something new. Uh, that'll be definitely cool. 
And then there's also this gatekeeper, which uh, stops uh, third-party applications from installing. So that's if you're uh, just a simple user, Mac App Store, uh, you really don't need to um, use anything outside of Mac App Store. But you can also turn this feature off if you need to download stuff from the internet. Safari is new, we also talked about that, and there's a million new things in Mac OS X line. Uh, what I've noticed is that this is super, super snappy. I'm running a 1080p display on my MacBook Air, which is actually a very, very uh, small, light machine. So I can say that this is definitely really, really fast, really snappy, um, and that uh, the SSD performs just as well. And uh, yeah, so on Mountain Lion, you can see that everything really works very well.